wake up all the way into Sunday morning. That's the extended time frame that we're talking about. So as I mentioned, this is an extreme Sierra storm with above 5,000 feet, 5 to 10 feet of snow. Between 3,000 and 5,000 feet, 1 to 4 feet of snow with a snow rate at about 2 to 4 inches per hour. That means it is just going to be pounding. It's happening again. A massive and dangerous winter storm is about to slam the west coast. People living there say they have not seen this much snow in years. More snow on the way. And this is what people are going to have to dig themselves out of. They've dealt with very strong winds that caused some power outages. This is our second winter at Camp One. Pretty mild so far, and we were hoping to get off easy. Last year, just six months after our arrival, the local area was hit with the biggest storm anybody had seen in decades. Snow levels were higher than anybody could remember. Roofs were caved in. It was absolute mayhem on the highways. And we had a near miss with Luke when his car lost traction and he tipped off the embankment. We were without power for a week with no way to get out and no way for emergency services to get in. We learned some hard lessons and now it's time to put that learning to use. Got like, I don't know, eight or so. I'm just gonna go ahead and see which of these have batteries. You know what? Could you just take a look at the fuel tanks? If they're full, just put them on bottom. Mm -hmm.
Sunday morning, we woke to the news that the blizzard warning was canceled. We still got some wet weather ahead of us, but God willing, it seems the worst may be behind us. Last night, Aisha and I prayed that we might receive all of the storm's benefit and none of its harm. And of course, Luke and I did what we could to prepare just in case. A reminder that God holds all the cards, but it's up to each of us to keep our camel tied. <laughs>